Hello my soccer universe. Uh, quarterfinal day number one. It's what we're gonna talk about. Were two games that were very very similar in the sense that there was a clear favorite against an outsider who pulled an upset. Uh, and yeah, first game was between Senegal and Benin. Benin who of course had eliminated Morocco in the round of 16. Kind of a big upset I gotta say. And um, Senegal, you know, gets through at the moment. The big problem of Senegal is finishing. And yeah, the game started out in a similar way with Senegal having a lot, a lot of possession, but not really penetration going forward. Quickly, jersey matchup. Senegal keeps playing in their green jerseys, which I personally like. It makes for a nice contrast with the yellow of Benin. Uh, so I like it much better than if they would play in their white. Um, the Benin jerseys I really like with all these specs on there. Senegal, as I will say in a jersey review that will drop very soon, I wish there was a, um, the white was a different color and you know there was a little bit red on these jerseys, but they're really nice with the lion print on there. The shade is also slightly off. Anyway, uh, Senegal controls, but the first chance comes to Benin. I think it was a free kick in the 25th minute uh, that Pote cannot... I mean, he gets his foot on, but uh, the director is a little bit off and he misses the uh, post. This was the first real big chance. And it was only then uh, that Senegal slowly really gets into the game. Um, there was a really long uh, in stoppage time already. I mean, it, Senegal really got da dangerous in a short period after uh, around uh, the 45th to stoppage time where um, Koulibaly plays a really nice ball onto uh, Gaye, who uh, wants to cross it to Manet. The problem is uh, way too weak. He's not aware of how many defenders are actually there. I think he would have had a better chance if he would have um, taken a shot on goal because he was really clear uh, there or uh, played a pass a little bit harder or played high. Um, I think that was a huge chance missed. Ends 0-0 at the half. Second half is similar uh, in the sense that Senegal controls. I think they had even a goal taken away early. But Benin has uh, the chances. Again, Pote missing one. Then a comical chance where uh, the Senegalese goalkeeper, uh, not even under pressure, has the ball, wants to pass it and miss hits it so badly that uh, it doesn't go to a defender forward, it actually goes sideways and curls towards goal and uh, barely gets past the post uh, to not have a goal. That would have been the a blooper of the tournament. But that kind of woke up Senegal. And shortly thereafter, um, Manet, who, you know, he's the focal point of Senegal's attack, um, is running onto the um, defense of Benin kind of loses the ball, but uh, Idrissa Gueye has a wonderful um, run, uh, gets the ball into the uh, slot, the lane that opened, and is uh, through on goal and can make it 1-0 for Senegal. Shortly after, Manet has a goal uh, chalked off, uh, again due to offsides. VAR was finally uh, available at the AFCON. We'll have it from quarterfinals to the final. And yeah, uh, there were also another chances where uh, Benin could just clear every shot. I mean, it was Mane uh, that I think had two chances. It was always cleared off or blocked off. Um, in the end, uh, there was only the only other thing was that uh, Olivier Verdon was the last man pulled uh, down uh, the attacker and got sent off for Benin. Nothing really coming from Benin and Senegal runs away in the end. I think comfortable winners, although the scoreline should have been higher. I think they should have made a second or third goal. This is my uh, grab with Senegal. They should convert a chance if they really want to have a chance of advancing uh, into the final or winning the whole thing. Uh, they can play wonderfully. However, um, you know, you got to take your chances. On the other side, if you look, they will play the winner of Tunisia against Madagascar. They will be favored there. Uh, so, you know, a final spot is not totally out of question. But winning the final might be a different uh, sort of a uh, different animal. Because you play Niger the winners of Nigeria, South Africa or Algeria 
um, against uh, the Cote d'Ivoire. So that's going to be a bigger task ahead for sure. Speaking of Nigeria versus South Africa, again, despite uh, Gernot Roa, Nigerian coach, trying to uh, tell everyone that Nigeria are not the favorites against South Africa, I guess nice banter because they've beaten Egypt and blah, 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 blah. Egypt is uh, seemingly the strongest team. Now, um, Nigeria clearly were the favorites. Um, played again in their wonderful jerseys. South Africa also in their home jerseys, which uh, I didn't mind except for the socks. I thought that the light green socks and the yellow socks of South Africa were maybe a little bit too similar. But you know, I was fine with it. I just thought uh, if you really want to avoid any clash, that was maybe one that you could have avoided. Uh, similar things that I can say. I mean, South Africa maybe had a small chance at the beginning. Um, also, I have to say, this was the first game where not Egypt was present, where there was actually a sizable crowd. Uh, it was, I think, 50,000 in the huge stay stadium. I assume that many people have already bought tickets for that game because Egypt was slated to play uh, and then said, well, I might as well show up. It did the game well. I mean, yes, there were, you could see empty spots, uh, but still, it was great that uh, the, you finally could see a game with uh, spectators uh, where it was not Egypt playing. Uh, but you could so you see many Egyptian fans. I remember one shot there were like Nigerian fans dancing in the middle of it. Was <laughs> one Egyptian fan, uh, kind of a little bit embarrassed, but also enjoying the whole scene. Uh, it was really nice. Those all the green around it and the one the red Egyptian fan. As I said, uh, the game started out quick and then slowed down immediately. Um, Nigeria having clearly the better of the game and always trying to uh, attack towards the left uh, side of South Africa. I think they made out that there might be some weakness and, you know, they also have the strength there with Iwobi and especially Musa really, really um, um, go, uh, putting a lot of effort in uh, and trying to uh, create chances. Um, but, you know, um, when the goal fell, this was really the first chance for Nigeria, where Iwobi uh, is again on the left, um, puts the ball into the box where uh, Samuel Chukwese uh, ta takes a shot that is blocked, but it falls back to him and he uh, is clear on goal again and can put it in 27th minute, 1-0 Nigeria. Um, and then Nigeria probably should have made another one. I mean, Chukwese again, uh, a nice attacking move that he puts over the bar. Um, then in the second half, uh, there was a uh, free kick by a table where uh, the um, South African goalkeeper, Ronald Williams, just gets the hand on and puts it on the post. This would have been right into the corner. Uh, really nice uh, free kick. And yeah, it, that was the game going. You never had the feeling that uh, Nigeria is in trouble. Just again, like Senegal, they cannot take their chances. And so when South Africa gets a free kick, it's put in the box and um, Zungu puts it into the net. But it looked really, really offside. Um, but it wasn't because it came off um, the back of a Nigerian defender. And so suddenly, thanks to VAR, the goal stood and we have a 1-1 game. And then a little bit the fear crept in and the game slowed down considerably. And I was afraid this was going to overtime because I I was beat yesterday. Uh, but in the 89th minute, um, I think it was another free kick or was it a corner kick? Anyway, roughly from the uh, left attacking side of Nigeria comes in and the goalkeeper who just made this wonderful save just goes under it. And the uh, ball falls to Trost Ekong, who just can put it in, in into the empty net. 2-1 Nigeria. It's a, you just escaped from some uh, real trouble against South Africa. And Nigeria wins it 2-1 and moves on. And as I said, they will play the winner of um, Algeria against the Cote d'Ivoire. That will for sure be an interesting game, uh, which is also the first... Uh, quarterfinal that we'll have today and the second one will be between Madagascar and Tunisia the winner of which will play Senegal anyway 
Let me know what you thought about the games yesterday. Um, you know, any comments are welcome below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.